Hi and welcome to our virtual event. Today we'll be chatting to Dr Craig Laverick where all about our new suite of LLM courses. Craig will be telling us a little bit more about the LLMs in cyber law, space law, international finance and international commercial law and answering any questions you may have. If you submitted a question um, for today's event, um, don't worry, we have got it and we will do our very best to answer it today. So if um, during the course of the video <clears throat> there's something that you'd like us to answer, please do leave us a comment in the box to the uh, right of this video and we'll do our very best to get through that as well. So uh, let's start off um, by hearing a little bit more about each of the LLMs. Uh, so Craig, what can you tell us about these courses? Yeah, so we have from September four brand new LLMs starting. Um, and like my colleague just said, we have them in uh, cyber law, space law, international finance, and international commercial law. Um, international commercial law is all about the regulation of trade and commerce um, with an international perspective, also looking from an English law perspective as well. Um, the international Finance is looking at the regulation of the banks and the commercial sector. Um, cyber law is looking at the new regulations around cyber, um, data, storage and the laws relating to that. And the last one, space law, which is a slightly different one, is looking at the regulation of space, outer space, so we're looking at mining of the moon, for example. Excellent, that sounds really interesting. Um, so, um, we'll go on to ask, uh, answer any questions that our viewers have had, and we have had got a couple. Um, so we have Jacob from the UK asks, will the course include any placement opportunities? And um, he's specifically relating to the space law course. Yeah, um, th these are not kind of incorporated into the course themselves, um, so they would need to be arranged separately. Now all I will say is that the uh, programme leader for this particular course, uh, Professor Chris Newman, is currently, as we speak, um, in London at the UK Space Agency. Um, he's worked on a project with them um, and he has many, many links with organisations connected to the space industry, including military contacts, um, looking at the automation of um, satellites and weapons and things like that. Um, now, with his connections, I'm sure he can arrange um, sessions and can arrange placements and things, but they would need to be organised with him individually and separately. No problem, that's great. So moving over to the cyber law for a minute, and um, Joseph from Cyprus would like to know, will the classes be available to view online after they've finished for revision purposes? Yes, they are. Um, they will be released. So what happens at Northern University and at the law school is that every lecture and workshop is recorded using a software program called Panopto. Um, so in our uh, rooms, there is a giant webcam above us, um, mics, and it records what the lecturer is saying, but it also records what is on the screen as well, um, so PowerPoint slides. Um, this file gets saved, uploaded to our um, module site, and people can view it usually a day or two after the actual lecture itself. So if you miss it because you're ill um, or anything like that, you can also view it uh, not just for revision purposes. So all the lectures and workshops are recorded, seminars aren't usually recorded, um, but we can sort out things for revision purposes anyway with regards to seminars. And um, we've got a very in-depth question from here from Pete from the UK. Um, will cyber law include a module with regards to hard and soft and domestic um, international law on blockchain, ledger, cryptocurrencies, tokens and crypto assets? I must admit, um, this is beyond my knowledge. I had to go and ask the module leader this morning about this. Um, now, his response is that there's not going to be a specific module dealing with that, um, but on the cyber law module itself, um, there will be two lectures and one workshop on all of those topics. Um, and also, we told me to plug this, uh, Northumbria University are organising a summer school on blockchain um, in, I can't pronounce it, Zeno. Uh, one between the 1st and the 5th of July, so put that into Google, you'll be able to find it. Um, now, our module leader, our module tutor for this module, Guido, um, he has a lot to do with blockchain, he's very research active in this at the moment, um, so there is the opportunity to also study your project, um, which is part of the LLMs, your dissertation on your project, what you do in semester three. Um, you will have the opportunity to, to look at these topics and to do some research in that area. Great. Um, so Lindsay from the UK asks, what is the student experience like for a postgraduate student at Northumbria? Could you? In one word, brilliant. Um, 
to be honest, I was a post training student at Northumbria. Um, I did my LLM here uh, in international commercial law, and I fell in love with academia, with research. I've come back around. I'm now a lecturer at Northumbria. Um, we are unique in that we are a huge law school. We are the second largest law school in the country. Uh, we have hundreds and hundreds of undergrad students and also hundreds and hundreds of postgraduate students. Um, we are professional but we're also like a little family and I think the postgraduate team are brilliant. I work on the postgraduate team so I won't say that. Um, but I think we find a great experience. Newcastle is very well known for being a friendly place um, and the law school as well. Thank you. So, um, May from Tanzania would like to know what scholarships are available. Um, yeah, do you know? But I mean, I could help out with that one if you. You would probably sure. um, correct me on this because you would know a lot more than me. Mm -hmm. um, for postgrad, um, there are only the vice chancellor awards for masters um, because these LLMs aren't research, although they're research focused and there's a, um, a strong research sense about them. They're not research uh, masters; they are taught masters. So. And again, it could be wrong. Um, we have the um, option to apply for a vice chancellor scholarship, and I think that's fifty percent off the tuition fees. Yeah, well, the details will be able to be found online, but um, we can confirm that um, the we do have available vice chancellor scholarships, but also there are this these courses apply are applicable to the five hundred pound discount as well. Um, and if you are um, an existing Northumbria student, you are also eligible for the alumni discount as well. But full details of um, and how to apply um, are, can be found at the um, Got a Question section. Um, so pop over there after this live stream and you'll find everything you need to know for the full details around uh, scholarships for that. See, much more knowledge than that. <laughs> so um, now we'll just see if there's any specific questions that have come through from the live at all. No, that's absolutely fine. So if you have, uh, well, that kind of sort of uh, sums up this session. Um, if you have any further questions about the event, um, click through to the Talk To Us tab just above this video where you can chat um, with our staff from applicant services and postgraduate teams. Alternatively, if you have a specific question about any of the courses, you can um, email us at any time at nu.postgraduate at northumbria.ac.uk. Thank you for watching and thanks so much for your time, Craig. Thank you. Thanks.